What is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another Dragon Base video. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's accomplishing the Dragon Base dreams because that's probably here. We're here for this journey together and see what we can accomplish, guys. There's a lot of good stuff going on right now. The new hero is out. We're going to be getting him in this video and breaking him down. But as always, we do have new um we do have new events of course we have guild assault challenge events and so make sure you're doing that there's lots of great resources here rubies origin crystals hero summons there's just so much good stuff here so make sure you are participating in that next we have a caledon event we're going to be in week two soon i've already did all of my caledon i'm just waiting for it to recharge up so i can do more so make sure you're looking into that and doing it and if you're in a guild make sure you get the decrease point entry that's going to help you have more challenges the memory essence of it, I did get the uh, Kalarina third impact, and I will break that down on her on a separate video of how I got her and new content is coming for that in the next video. So we're definitely going to have into that. Make sure you do a Kalarina's raid. You have some new gear, some pretty cool gear. They made it look differently and maxing out your gear so you can get the next tier. So make sure you are doing that. And also the Richard Sanctuary, make sure you are doing this. Really, the only thing you need is star essences and the enchant stones. But if you need water essences and everything else and potions, you can get that as well. And just to show you, I did get third impact. She's right there. And I will get more into that here shortly of how I got third impact. Because this is a video for the new hero. I just want to take care of this while I'm here. So we can make our Katarina stronger. All right. So, I have not gotten him yet, and he is right here. We're going to be getting him now. I did open up a couple of packs. The ones I saved up for him, uh, we're, we're going to be fighting him now. So, we're going to need to get our rogues. So, we want you here, you there, and you here. And then for our fourth impact, we're going to use, obviously, you. And we really don't need a, a, a healer, per se, so we're just going to have damage. So... We're gonna use you, and we're gonna see if we can get them. We're gonna skip through all of this, of course. I mean, you can do this on your own time. Obviously, you're gonna see all the story and all the lore and stuff like that um, on your screen, on your personal time. Obviously, we're doing a video here, so I just want to go ahead and get through that and fight him and break him down, which is more important. So, I have enough hero cards to make him, obviously, so I won't be able to power him up too much. I will be opening up packs, obviously, very soon and go ahead and getting him. So, we're just going to go ahead and get him now. I will spend more packs to make sure I make him a little stronger. But here's our rogue. Here we are. We're going to go ahead and pledge him real quick as well. I'm working on a level 100 video as well for fourth impact. So that'll be coming out pretty soon as well. So, all right. So let's see. So obviously Cerberus and Odin, it is his... Specialized content. He's a rogue physical DPS. Now the next guy coming out is the warrior. So and we're gonna see exactly what he does. So let's break his skills down real quick and let's see what he's all about. I'm excited to have him. Alright. So it says attack one enemy and inflicts additional skill damage. Increase and receive single damage upon normal attacks, tenth phase for three point five seconds that's pretty good i mean just having his first ability just as normal attack being able to do that inflicts additional skill damage increase and receive damage upon normal attacks guys 10th phase is also really high buff so if nothing 10th phase or higher can mess with him that's always going to stay and 3.5 seconds isn't a long time so you are you're able to actually constantly keep doing this uh throughout the battle based on how long it is now let's go to its second skill it says type skill says inflict 13,770% skill damage on one enemy, cooldown 17.9 seconds. So let's see why. It says the first one says buff. It says increase your DEX, which is one of your main stats, by 535% in single attack 
by 2,138%. Tenth phase, five stacks will not be removed by Cerberus. So keep in mind, Cerberus cannot remove that buff. That is very good. This is not exclusively for him. This is just an all-around universal buff, which is also very good. It's going to stack five times, so that is definitely very meaningful. He's going to be putting out some pretty good damage uh, for sure, along with increasing your main stat as well. So very, very powerful for sure. And then the second one is specialty. It says cast uh, explosive strike on one enemy 10th phase five stacks. And what is that? Down here at the bottom it says it says increase receive single damage by 535%. So obviously times that by four. That's what you're truly gonna get as it stacks. So that's actually pretty, pretty meaningful if you do the math there. We're gonna go back to that one just in case we miss any additional content because they can't put everything on the screen. So obviously as we do before. So we'll go back to that. Let's go to the third skill. It says type, it says inflict 17,820% skill damage on one enemy, cooldown 21.8 seconds. Let's see why. Specialty one, it says increased physical attack, attack by 933% and additional boss damage by 467% for all allies. Seventh phase, five stacks will not be removed by Cerberus. Let me re-clarify that. That is for all your allies, 10th phase, five stacks will not be removed by Cerberus. Guys, that's very meaningful. Even though it's only, you know, the percentage is, is, is under 1,000 and then the other percentage is under 470%, when you get to stack it five times, that kind of doesn't matter anymore because you're going to be able to do a lot of damage. And plus, you're going to be able to get through your bosses or whatever you're fighting through quickly as the game prolongs on, as you're getting your buffs on and trying to take everything down, that's going to be very meaningful through any content and anything that you're doing. So already a really, really good fourth impact uh, for sure. And then the second one says, cast uh, warms up on yourself. Tenth phase, five stacks will not be removed by Cerberus. And that effect is so far, we know. It says increased DEX by 583% and melee attack by 2,333%, additional boss damage by 1,166%. So that's quite good. And again, it may have more. We're gonna go through the abilities to make sure we didn't miss anything. So um, that's quite meaningful. And it seems that he's just like a skilled base type of uh, uh, champion hero, whatever you wanna call it. So. His skills is going to be very, very most important. And then the fourth, the final skill, which is his ultimate, aka signature uh, skill. So it says, upon charge of 100% signature energy, it says buff one. It says increase your DEX by 2,624%, physical attack by 10,498%, and additional boss damage by 5,249%. Tenth phase, five stacks <laughs> will not be removed by Cerberus. So um, that's quite powerful, guys. That's gonna be very, very, very meaningful when you put more cards and get him more stronger. Uh, he's going to put in a lot of work. He's, um, he's very, very good. We haven't even got to the passives yet. And this guy's up certain. Obviously, he split into two here. Um, buff two, it says increased physical attack by uh, 4,199%. Single attack by the same percentage I just read. On all allies, 10th phase, five stacks would not be removed by Cerberus, which is so good. And it says specialty, says special summon one clone for the, for 35 seconds. So obviously we're gonna get more into that here in a second. We're gonna go through everything, but this guy is, uh, he's, he's quite bonkers. Now let's go back through and see if we missed anything because they do like to hide stuff. So here, okay, we're good there. Let's go to the second, warms up. Okay, yes, yeah, so yeah, so here melee attack and additional boss damage by, so yeah, the additional boss damage definitely we, we, we got here. So everything seems to be good here. His ultimate obviously won't have everything on there. So as you see here, it says specialty. It's obviously get the clone specialty one uh, immune to, uh, to Cerberus instant death skills against summons, which is quite good. And especially too, it says summons clones into the battlefield with all skills ready to use regardless of their cooldown. Holy snap, regardless of their cooldown, you can you can use all of his abilities right off the back and clone comes down, ready to go at it, using all the abilities at instant speed, doesn't matter, regardless of whatever. That's quite awesome right there, guys. Keep that to mind. That is amazing. Okay, so let's go to his passive skill. It says winner takes it all. 
So it's passive, personal passive. Well, personal passive is basically for itself, so it's considered a selfish talent, but passive. But it says increased DEX by 1,166%, physical attack by 4,374%, and single attack by the same percent as I just mentioned, which is quite good. I mean, any kind of bumps is wonderful, so that's that's all good and handy dandy there. Uh, personal passive two, it says increased attack speed by 10% and additional boss damage by 2,187%. Uh, very good. Next one is reload. It says Cerberus passive, which is basically for your war boss. Same thing in type two is going to be for Odin for your war boss. But it reads, it says personal passive increased DEX by 3,110%, physical attack by 11,664%, and additional boss damage by 5,832%. Specialty one, it says inflicts 25,920% skill damage. Additional skill damage on one enemy upon normal attack, which is quite good. And then especially two says inflicts six time additional skill damage upon skill attacks. That's a lot of damage. And it's luckily it's it's for your war boss, but man, that's a lot of damage. And then you have your Odin passive. It says personal passive increased DEX by 2,333%, physical attack by 8,748%, and additional boss damage by 4,374%, which is quite wonderful. Ally Oris has increased physical attack by 3,499%, signal attack by the same percent as I just mentioned, and additional boss damage by 1,750%. So that's very meaningful, that's actually pretty good. And then we're gonna go through a breakthrough critical point. It says a uh, Cerberus passive, it would have passive, which they have more. Personal passive increased DEX by 3,888%, physical attack by 14,580%, and additional boss damage by 7,290%, which is quite powerful, quite meaningful there. It's a really good passive. Specialty one, it says inflicts 13,000, 365% additional skill damage on one enemy upon normal attack, which is quite good. And the specialty two says inflicts three times additional skill damage uh skill damage upon skill attacks so he's really all about skill attacks and no and physical damage and increasing your dex and making clones of himself he's gonna do a lot of damage and obviously this is just where i'm at currently because of the pledge and stuff like that nothing too crazy there and then his infinity passive i think it's uroboros i believe which is kind of hilarious because if that's how it's pronounced it kind of reminds me of resident evil <laughs> um Infinity passive, <coughs> uh, personal passive, increased physical attack by 627%, skill attack by 828%, and single attack by 1094%, which that probably can grow as he levels, of course. Yes, it does at the bottom, it does. Specialty says inflicts 14,580% additional skill damage on one enemy upon normal attack. So he's really all about normal attack, skill attacks, increasing your DEX, doing tons of damage. And cloning himself everything you want a rogue to do very very good and then it says specialty upon upon using explosive strike increase your physical attack by 1711 percent tenth phase three stacks would not be removed by cerberus so i would say go down here i got two gold daggers and then the red armor um what i think about him this guy is really, really, really good. Um, he's going to put in a lot of work. The fact that he makes a clone of himself for 35 seconds. 35 seconds, guys, is a long time. And he's doing double duty when you have a clone that's out. He's going to be doing lots of damage. Definitely worth putting time into him. I'm going to put as many cards to him as possible. i got to open up more packs now. Here shortly. But um, he's going to do a lot of work. In my opinion, he's definitely very, very, very good. And I highly recommend you make him and put your time into him. Um, we don't have too much time, I don't think, for him. I did forget to open up. So we got 27 days, which is like a month or so. Not not much. Um, but definitely put a lot of um, rubies to him if you can or whatever you can. And it really sucks for newer newer players and upcoming players that they can't really buff up their heroes very quickly. I'm going to make a video about that. But um, definitely be farming your, um, you know, your mining for the fragment of, fragment of memories. That's what I've been doing. 
You also can get those through um, Path of the Force. So that's, you know, you can get those to a lot, several different places. So make sure you're doing that because those are the best chances you can get for lots of hero cards, which is why I try to save those. I got a plus six, oh, for her, which is, which is what I need. Perfect. That is awesome, actually. Um, finally getting some luck with her. I'm making a video about her soon. Um, it says she sees 50, I'm getting her level 100, and then I'm gonna break her down with the star power and stuff like that. So that's something else I'm working on as well. But that's not about, it's not about her, it's, it's about him today. So definitely get him, he's awesome. He's gonna be very, very good. And obviously you have to level him up so you can get your star power as well. Um, put him through Library of Fate, put him through Path of the Force. Speaking of that, I have to do that as well. But that is the video for today, guys. Make sure you are doing that. Make sure you're jumping into this guy. He's awesome. He's going to put in so much work. Uh, I can't wait to um, add him onto my team and see what he can do. But until next time, guys, I will see you for the next one.